Good morning. Almost, uh, almost afternoon. It's great to see such a great, uh, great crowd here. My name is Kevin Brown. I'm with uh, the Swedish organization, and uh, we're just delighted to have all of you here. Um, I'm just introduced a couple of key folks from Swedish. I'm not going to go around the clock, or we'd be here all day, and I know I forget somebody. But I want to introduce our CEO, Dr. Rod Hockman, and uh, our president of the organization, uh, Cal Knight. And then we have uh, one of our board members here, uh, Don Brennan. It's just uh, fantastic to see the project to this, to this stage. I'd say from a Swedish perspective, you'll hear our CEO and the rest of us talk about, this is our number one priority as an organization. And we look forward to delivering this product uh, to the Issaquah community. We've really moved from uh, what used to be just a hospital in downtown Seattle to delivering care out in the communities and becoming really part of the communities in which we serve. We know that the residents in the community expect to have services close to home, and we're working hard to bring those services right out to where people live. I looked at uh, the uh, uh, steel manufacturer, this website, the company was founded in uh, 1965. Selen was founded in 1944, and Swedish was founded in 1910. So collectively, we have over 200 years of serving this great community and uh, what a great product that you see uh, coming together here. This year is special to Swedish in that it's our 100 year anniversary. And uh, the only thing I would have hoped for more is we could have opened this year and had it as part of our 100th year birthday, but at 101, that'll be just fine. So um, with that, again, I just want to th say thank you on, on behalf of Swedish for uh, delivering the product to the state. Uh, and uh, we look forward to, uh, to next July when we have uh, the rest of the product finished. So. Now Scott Redman's going to say a word for a few words on behalf of uh, Selen. There are only about a hundred people from Selen I need to recognize here today, um, but I'll pass on that. I wanted to uh, tell you uh, briefly. I'm uh, Scott Redman, the president of Selen Construction. Um, just two things to cover today: briefly, a little of the history of topping out, and uh, specifically the history of the significance of the tree on top of the beam that'll be flown into place in a minute, and then uh, take a moment to. Speak pay a special tribute to uh, the Bergeson family, um, who are, many of them are here today, and for their contribution to this project. So first on the, the history and tradition of the topping out, it was really begun in Europe when they were building wooden barns and wooden homes and really living off the land and the forest and uh, as a significance uh, to the resource that they all relied on, they would um, add a tree, uh, the top of a tree, to the last piece of uh, structure that went in place and that is that tradition has lived on and that's the significance of the little tree you see on the beam behind me um, and and it's um, fitting I think to to have the opportunity today to honor uh, Berge Burgesson who uh, was the founder as Kevin mentioned of BNB fabricators our steel fabricator Berge passed away earlier this year um, he is um, he, he has just been an absolute inspiration for for our industry and for our firm. Um, his sons, Brian, Mark, and Todd are carrying on that tradition and uh, can't say enough about the job they've done here. This is the single biggest project they undertook as a company, the single fastest project they've ever done as a company, and they are doing just an unbelievable job um, helping this uh, dream become reality. Brigie's wife, Paula, is here as well, and uh, the family is all honored with a, a plaque on the beam, and I just wanted to say thank you to all of you. Uh, the incredible example that your father set um, is an inspiration to us all. Having had the opportunity to work with my dad for a long time, um, I know the the uh, opportunity and the burden that can be to try to fill those shoes, and uh, I applaud you, um, and uh, I know that the relationship between our companies will carry on well into the future, and uh, I really appreciate you being here. Uh, with that, I will turn it over to Dan Coxell from Hamas Company, who's going to say a few words about uh, the rest of the team. Thank you. I'd really like to recognize and thank, uh, first of all, Swedish for having the vision um, to be able to extend their health care services to the community and really um, engage Hamas as part of that process. Um, I'd like to recognize the design team, and, and in particular, since it's a structural topping out, DCI engineers. Uh, for being able to get through all of the RFIs and detail notes in such a speedy manner that we're able to deliver the project as fast as we're able. Um, I'd like to recognize Selen and the rest of the construction team for 
the ongoing success of this project. I mean, it, it is an amazing uh, undertaking, and, and to go as fast as we're going and uh, to work under a, an, sort of a pseudo-integrated project delivery method and, and deliver it as collaboratively as we are is, is a treat for me to be a part of. Um, in particular, with the construction, again, it's a topping out summary. I'd like to recognize the uh, erection company and local 86 iron workers. Thank you very much. What an amazing job you guys have done. Um, I'd like to also just thank uh, the city of Issaquah, because without the cooperation of the building department, as we work through the intricacies of the con construction documents and getting permitting and inspections done, in a timely manner. Uh, we met very early on, set up milestones, come up, came up with a, an agreement of how we could make it work in a collaborative manner. And, and I think what you see behind me is, is a huge success of that. And then finally, I would like to ask that we keep Don Campbell in our thoughts and prayers. If you remember, Don was the city inspector that is out here full time. Don had, uh, has had some health issues, um, uh, had a little bit of a setback from what I understand last week, but is unable to attend today. So please keep uh, Don Campbell in your thoughts and prayers for a speedy and full recovery. And with that, just thank you all for coming out today.